Hey, I'm Gopar, and today we're going to talk about glasses mode in this series called Emacs Goodies, which is about packages that are not well known, not popular, or that I just discovered. But like I said, today is glasses mode, so instead of talking about it, I'm just going to show you right now. So as you can see, we have a JavaScript file. This is just a code snippet that I copied from somewhere. And as you can see, all of these are in camel case. But once I turn in, turn on glasses mode, see what happens. Meta X, glasses mode. Let's hit it. Boom. All of a sudden, the camel case turns into snake case, but it's visually only. It doesn't edit the file, it just edits the buffer visually. So it enters separators, which is underscore, and if you try to go forward character, it just skips over. If you try to go back, it just skips over. So it doesn't actually let you edit. So for example, if I'm right here and I press backspace, it erases the L. So it's just there visually, it doesn't really edit. Some people find this confusing. This might not be for you, but if you feel like trying it out, keep on watching and we'll show some little configuration options. So like I said, it changes camel case into snake case. It also does some things. For example, it enters, it puts spaces between separators, uh, between parentheses, like right here. That's one thing I don't like uh, among, among the few things. I haven't tried this out that often yet. I'm right now I'm currently working on Python, so I haven't had really a lot of chance to test it out in JavaScript. But once I do, I'm definitely trying this out. Once I figured it out, uh, I'm sorry, not once I figured it out, once I found out about it, I was eager to try it. But like I said, I haven't been able to try it out at work. So let's go ahead and configure some options and see what we have. So let's go over to the glasses file and let's see dev custom glasses. So what do we have? So we can change the separator. For example, you don't want underscore. You can put it into an arrow. You can put it into a happy face. You can do whatever you want. Beautiful Emacs. So the separator, glasses original separator is just something else. Not quite similar, but we won't go over that in this video since it will be short. And glasses face, we can also configure any type of, any type of face you wish to put on the variable that you want to, or not variable, but item that you want to put it on. So any face, you can configure it, anything you want. It's pretty cool. And this variable I am gonna change, which is to put a space between parentheses, which I don't want. So if I evaluate this, it's gonna be true. And let's just put set, set it to nil. So I did that. So it should not happen next time. Also, you can have put exceptions to this, which I'm not gonna bother configuring. And you can also say that, hey, you can separate capital groups or not. So as you can see here, I'll give you a second to read it. You can pause the video if you need more time, but yeah, I'm not gonna change that or eh, not gonna change it for this video. Don't wanna make it too long. I can't test every single change. So I'll just do a few changes, tweak it and then show it and then that'll be it. So uncapitalized. So right now this, let's actually, let's set this to true set Q and let's set this true. I don't want to. So for example, this one, it's class underscore and capital N name. If I change it to true, it should be lowercase n when I turn it on the next time. So uncapitalized group, this is also another thing they configure is exceptions on the rule and glasses convert on right. This is pretty much if you get confused by glasses mode, but you still want to try it, you might want to look into this option. I'm not going to do it right now. So those are, I believe are the main configuration that you can do with glasses mode. The rest of it is just how it's done. You might find some interesting goodies or elisp, elisp ideas for your own packages or anything like that. But go ahead and read if you like. But yeah, I find this pretty useful, at least right now. At a first glance, we'll see how much it is useful once I actually start do, using it for work. But let me turn it off and then let me re-enable and see the changes take effect. So let's go ahead, glasses mode. As you can see, there is no more space between parentheses, but we do see, not but, but and we see that class name is now, the n is now a lowercase instead of capital case, which is beautiful. So I do a lot of Python, like I said, and seeing this in JavaScript is pretty nice, at least in my eyes. It just makes it easier because uh, some code base are mixed up and whatnot, but yeah, I won't go into detail. But yeah, this is pretty nice. So now if you get tired or you don't want to do it, you know, not for you, then just don't enable it. Simple as that. 
But yeah, this is pretty much it. I do not have it configured in my configuration because like I said, I haven't had time to play with it. But once I do, I'm definitely going to mess around with it. But if you do use it and you use something else, let me know. I would love to see how you guys are using it. But that is all. Thanks.